We're going to show you how to install a spool gun on a Miller AutoWark 120 MIG welder. This is the same as a Miller Matic 130 or 130 XP or an early 135 or 175 MIG. We have taken the bolts out of the cover and taken the cover off for time purposes. Make sure that your machine is unplugged before you start though. Look on the inside and locate the drive motor, which is right here. And you see how the wires are connected. If they are hard wired, then you're going to have to cut the wires and install a butt connector to hook up the switch wires. And in this case, we can unplug the wires and run them to our new wire to our drive motor. This is what the switch comes when you get it. If you have a later model machine, the two plugs will plug where your drive motor used to plug in to your PC board, from your drive motor to your PC board, and that will unplug. Then you plug one of the new white pins from your switch into the PC board and the other into your drive motor harness. The red and the black wires are going to go to your four pin plug on the front of the machine right here on pins three and four. For your new switch to mount, make sure when you, ever you mount your switch, you look behind it so that you, when you're drilling, you do not drill into wirings or electrical components. Now we drilled the wire in the front cover, the hole right here, so that in the back, there's nothing exposed. Now we ran the two red wires to the switch already over to the plug. You can see over there on the other side. This is the four pin plug in the back back here. Now on this drive motor, these two wires unplug. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug these wires into the new switch. We're gonna plug these two wires from the bottom terminals on the switch and going into the drive motor. Which are here and here. Now we're gonna take the center two wires on the switch and we're gonna plug those in to where the power comes through to the drive motor, which is here and here. Now you want to make sure these are out of the way so they don't hit the fan. Now on the, on the switch, there are six wires, three groups of two. The red and the black wires go to pins one and two on the four pin receptacle in the front, which is located right here. And they're empty in the back, so when you push them on, make sure you push them in far enough so they click or so they lock in and so they don't pull out. The center wires on your switch go to the power wires, which we said, which go up to either your PC board or whatever fed your drive motor. The two wires on the drive motor, they go to the opposite, the red and the black wires on the switch. Now we're going to put the switch in, and the switch mounts in the front panel. like so. Install your nut. Make sure your wires are out of the way. Plug your machine in. Turn your machine on. going the correct way, which it is. Otherwise, the wire will go backwards and you won't get any feed. If that's the case, and it does go backwards, reverse the two wires on the switch, which would be your two white wires at the top. Just reverse these two and the polarity will be reversed. The same thing with your drive motor on your spool gun. If it runs backwards, reverse the black and the red wire. Now we're going to take the spool gun, install the spool gun into the unit,
get the spool gun into the front. Make sure you bottom it all the way out so the O-rings line, well, all the way into the O-rings will line up and the gas will come out. Hook up your spool gun plug in the front. Make sure you tighten up your connection on the inside where the drive is for your spool gun. Click the switch for the spool gun. We've set the decal which comes with it for leg gun and spool gun. Make sure that when you squeeze your trigger, the wire comes out your drive roll, spool gun, and your speed is controlled by the speed up here. So if you turn it down there, that turns it down on the spool gun. Your heat is also regulated here, and your speed is here. When you look at the four pin connection in the front, there's going to be four pins. The originals one and two are your trigger wires. The new wires are three and four, which is your red and your black, which comes off your switch. So when you hook up the red and the black to the switch, that gives you power to your drive motor and your spool gun. If you have anything backwards, just reverse the upper and the lower leaves. Make sure you have your polarity correct. On most of the machines, there's going to be jumper links. And make sure that you have it set for solid wire, aluminum wire polarity, which is positive to the gun. Make sure you use argon gas for your aluminum welding and argon CO2 for your steel. Make sure your wires, when you cover it up, but take some uh, electrical tape and make sure no connections are left exposed. All your connections are tight. Make sure your switch is in nice and tight. And basically that's it. And have fun welding. Thank you.